Hi, so our next topic is uh, variables uh, and as you can see, this is also the next topic we see in our notebook. Uh, so variables finally allow us to, to have something which, will, which we will be able to, to change. So first of all, to, to define a variable, uh, we have to um, think of a name uh, for that variable. Uh, we will explain in more detail in the later later part of the course how exactly you can name variables for now we will use simple names as like x y or z uh, to first learn the behavior of variables uh, and uh, focus on specific rules for naming variables later so as you can see here i create a variable x so this variable right now uh, has a value uh, which is equal to 4. So this value, uh, this variable right now stores a value. Uh, and this value uh, right now is a constant, uh, constant which is equal to 4. And here, as you can see, I have executed uh, a cell with uh, code. And uh, since the last uh, Think uh, also the first thing, but since the, the last thing in this code cell is uh, is simply the name of the variable, we can see uh, also output of this uh, of this cell, uh, and the output is the current value of the variable uh, x. So how it works? Well, you can see that here I can change the the value in my variable. So I can assign value six to my variable x. And now if I, if I check what is the value of my variable, I can see that it is six. So I think uh, the, 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 the way you define variables is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, you basically first write the name of variable, then an equal sign, and then on the right-hand side, uh, you uh, write what the variable should be equal to. Uh, so this was the basic, the most basic way uh, of defining variables. We will see in a minute uh, why it is useful to have uh, a functionality like this. Mm, but first we can, we can learn about uh, using variable to update the value of the same variable. So this is important because uh, for some people, these uh, things might look like a mathematic uh, equation, but uh, they are, these things are not mathematic equations. So basically here, what happens is uh, since I already have a variable X, which uh, has a value six, I can use this variable uh, to perform some uh, computation uh, and for example, a simple computation would be uh, x plus something. So maybe I will create a code cell here where I will compute this uh, operate com uh, computation. And I can, as you can see, uh, the result of this computation is seven. But if I check what is the current value of x, I can see that the current value of x is still six because the only thing that happened here uh, is uh, I performed the computation. Uh, Python uh, showed me the result of this computation uh, in the uh, output, uh, but uh, that's all, like uh, nothing else happened. Uh, but if I want to, I can save the output of this computation and I can do it using a variable X. So, and this happens here. So basically uh, first, what Python does first is uh, perform the operation, which is on the right. And this is X plus one. So Python as a result gets seven. And then happens, what happens is exactly the same thing that happened here. Since Python right now has already computed uh, this, uh, perform this operation and got seven as a result. Uh, he sees seven here and he saves this value in the, in a variable X. So you can see that if I perform this operation 
and then check what is the value of x, now I can see that the value of x is 7. Uh, moreover, if we run this code again, uh, I should get 8. So you can see that if I perform this code cell, if I uh, run this code cell, then Python again uh, performs this operation. My x is now equal to 7, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8, 8 is saved in x, and then I ask Python to output uh, value 8. And uh, here you can see that code cells uh, can have more than one, light, uh, one line uh, of a code. So um, this is useful because uh, creating code cells, uh, separate code cells for every line of code uh, would be tedious. Uh, so, so basically we can have as many uh, lines of code in a code cell as we, as we want. Um, something which is also uh, interesting and uh, important, uh, we can use variables to define new variables. So basically here uh, I had a variable x, I was doing some computations on x and then saving it uh, again in a variable x. Uh, but I can do something else. Uh, since I already have a variable x, which is equal right now uh, to 8, uh, I can perform some uh, operations uh, using this variable x, uh, and Python will use 8, right now it will be 8 uh, as, uh, as value in these operations, and get the result. So, uh, and if I, when I have this result, I can save it in some variables. And this can be a new variable. For instance, here it will be a variable y. So for instance, here, right now, x has a value 8. Uh, so Python performs an operation, which is 4 to the power 8 plus 8. And everything is divided by 4. Uh, and then we have 8 plus 2 multiplied by 8, so 80. And so we subtract uh, 80. And you can see that if I define, if I run this code cell, I get the result uh, 16,306. And this result was stored in a variable y. And uh, I can create a separate code cell and you can see that this result was really stored in y. So whenever uh, I want to use this variable y again, uh, right now it will have a value 16,306. Uh, so, uh, why is this useful? Well, uh, the most important thing is that I don't have to repeat this formula again and again and again. Uh, if I have used 8 here, where I had x, I would have uh, gotten the same result but basically, if I want to change, if I want to compute the same formula for some other number, uh, then I have to change this number everywhere I'm using it. So uh, this is tedious. Uh, if, uh, if I use a variable, it's much simpler because right now I can change the value of variable x. So for instance, here I assign value uh, 2 to variable x and I can run this uh, code again and get a different result. And as you can see, I store this result in variable y, so I can see that the value of variable y has changed. Uh, I can change the value of x again and uh, again change the uh, check what is the result for other value of variable x. So this is really useful because you don't have to repeat yourself. Imagine you have a formula which has like, I don't know, uses x 10 times or 50 times, right? Uh, then it's really, really uh, useful. Something you have seen, maybe you haven't focused on this during uh, my explanation, I can execute code cells in notebooks in different order. So basically, uh, I don't have to go from 
uh, top to the bottom, uh, I can execute this cell, run it, and then run some previous code, uh, code cell uh, again and uh, check the result. Usually we mm, go through the notebook from top to the bottom, but it's possible to do it. And you can also see uh, afterwards in what order I have executed the cells, um, you or you have executed the cells uh, by checking these numbers here. Uh, so I can see that this number was executed as the 21st one in the in the notebook. This code cell was executed as 22nd and this one as 20, 23rd. And since this was the last one I have executed, if I execute this one right now, uh, this one will be executed as 24th. So you can see that uh, code cells can be executed in different order and they can be executed many times in the same uh, in the same notebook. So uh, in the next uh, video we will uh, talk uh, briefly about mistakes you can make when defining new variables. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.